If you're tired of the usual boring lunch options, here are three flavorful bento box ideas that'll energize you for the rest of the day and take you out of that afternoon slump. Hey Biz Bees, it's Zong, and today I'm partnering with Mon Bento to give you some new bento box ideas ranging from a unique spin on your regular old sandwich to a rice bowl that will remain hot for hours. I've heard a lot of you guys ask me for new bento box ideas, a refresh for spring if you will. Actually, this will be good anytime. But I hope these ideas will inspire your next lunch. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I have a deep love for a Vietnamese banh mi, so I'm gonna reimagine it into something more approachable. Here I have a thick slice of ciabatta bread, which you can find at any grocery store. I'm gonna cut it in half. It's nice and fluffy. I chose a ciabatta because it's nice and hearty, but it won't cut the roof of your mouth like your regular uh, Bon mi roll wood. I hate when that happens. Okay, so now I'm gonna spread a sriracha aioli on top, which is just a mixture of mayo and sriracha. Then I'm gonna layer it with some baked tofu. I found this baked tofu at the store and it's already seasoned with Chinese five spice, so it saves me a lot of work. These pre-marinated tofus are so good that you really won't miss any meat, I promise. Of course, if you guys don't like tofu, you can always substitute it with grilled chicken or grilled pork, which I also have a banh mi grilled pork video that I'll link in the end card later. Okay, so next I'm gonna layer it with a nice helping of pickled daikon carrots to give it some tang, and then some sliced cucumber that'll give it a nice fresh crunch, jalapeno slices to spice things up, and a few sprigs of cilantro. Close it up, and then with the extra aioli sauce, I'm gonna put it into my Monbento temple, which is the perfect little sauce container for our bento box. Isn't this cute? Oh, hey, look, I match it. <laughs> All right, now let's go ahead and assemble the top layer of our bento box. I'm gonna use this Monbento square. The Monbento square is a big bento box that's great for big appetites. It's perfect for salads, big sandwiches, or generous meals. I'm layering the bottom of my box with some lettuce to make it beautiful. Then I'll place in our sandwich and fill in the gaps with some gorgeous tomatoes and our Monbento temple container. I'll seal it up and now we'll work on our second layer. For our bottom square, I'm gonna make this our snack slash dessert compartment. All right, so with this little container right here, I'm gonna fill it up with some Greek yogurt. I like to jazz up my Greek yogurt, so I'm gonna add a little bit of chia seeds, hemp seeds for extra protein, and a little bit of matcha for flavor. And then on the side of it, we're gonna make like a rainbow fruit salad. I have some strawberries, mangoes, I shaped my mango into a rose because I feel like bentos are very artful and I like being creative with it. It's like, that's part of the fun, you know? So I'm not layering everything as I mentioned. It's just kind of how I feel, how zen I feel with each one. And then the next one, I'm gonna use some orange chunks, kind of disperse them out. So you still see a little bit of everything in there. Actually, I think I'm gonna move my mango rose and place them on top of each other. That way I have room for our beautiful kiwi right here. I was so proud I kind of carved this with little zigzags. It just looks more interesting. Place it right here. And then we'll fill in the gaps with some blueberries, more orange chunks, and some strawberries. You just want everything to be bright and colorful and appealing so that it's Instagram worthy for your IG stories, right? Now, you might be wondering how everything is gonna stay in place. The Monbento Square and the Monbento Original Boxes come with an internal lid fitted with a silicon hinge. It's completely airtight and keeps your food fresh. If you guys are liking these bento boxes, I have a special coupon for you in the video, so stay tuned. I'm gonna add our banh mi sandwich on top. And then it comes with this lid. And finally, to keep everything in place, there's this elastic band. Nice and compact and super sleek. 
Great, now let's move on to our hot lunch. For this, I'm gonna be using the Monbento Element, the insulated lunch box that can keep your lunch either hot or cold for up to five hours. This lunch box is perfect for students or working professionals without access to a microwave. Here I have some steaming hot rice that I'm just gonna add to the bottom of our Monbento Element. Then I'm gonna layer it with some curry. This is a butter chicken that I have a recipe for as well. So all of the recipes here will be linked in the end card uh, later. And then to make it a little bit more interesting, I'm going to add some chickpeas, some sauteed zucchinis, and then to cool down our palate, some cooling cucumbers with uh, tomatoes. This is a pretty complete and filling meal. For those of you having lunch on the run, you're gonna feel really satiated with the protein, veggies, and healthy carbs. All right, let me seal it up. And how many of you guys want this insulated box right here? Well, it's your lucky day because I have a special promotion for all you busy bees. From now until April 30th, you can get 10% off on your Monbento order. Just use the code HONEYCIRCLE10. Bam. All right, let's make our next meal. All right, so this is probably my favorite bento lunch that's reminiscent of a Japanese bento lunch, but with the honeysuckle twist. In this gorgeous Cherry Blossom Monbento Original, the Daily Bento Box, or the Bento Box Made in France, I'm gonna add my famous garlic noodles, a nice helping of it, and then for our protein, I'm gonna add some grilled salmon. I made this salmon with like a soy glaze that I have some extra sauce here, so I'll add it on top. And then any extra sauce will be added to our Monbento Temple, that little container that's perfect for extra sauce tuck it into the bento. And then our second layer, which you guys didn't think I was just gonna have noodles and salmon, right? We're gonna add some veggies. In the little oval container, I'm gonna add some yellow tomatoes. And then in the main compartment, I'm gonna add some greens. We'll layer the bottom with some sauteed spinach. I like having some broccoli. This is baby broccoli that's a little more tender and some sauteed mushrooms. I'm gonna season this up with a little drizzle of sesame oil and a sprinkle of toasted sesame seeds. All right, now we're gonna seal it up. And there's even room for my cutlery. This is the Monbento Pocket. It has fork, spoon, and a knife. Super compact, mini, and so sleek. I'm gonna place it right here and then the lid it's just so beautiful just to look at it. Nate actually thought this looked like my phone case. <laughs> I'm gonna put this guy on top of this guy. Grab our elastic band to keep everything in place. And that's our salmon bento. Honestly, if I'm having a bad day at work, having lunch in this pretty box will just make me feel better. <laughs> What'd you guys think of my bento box ideas? I hope it inspires your next lunch. Oh, I forgot to mention, I even have a matching cherry blossom water bottle. Drop me a comment and don't forget to give me a bento box and a cherry blossom emoji in the box below. Thank you so much for watching and remember to always mix, mix, mix. Bye!